Hey everybody, this is my March Art Snacks unboxing and review. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to see more of these videos and let's check it out. It's Art Snacks fifth birthday, so this box has a little something extra special in it. I'm gonna take all the items out of the box, starting with the green tissue. We have a limited edition pencil case that was exclusive to this birthday box. The menu card that details all of the items a limited edition birthday themed sticker sheet. And our treat this time was a Warheads Extreme Sour in watermelon flavor. Let's have a look and see what came in the box this month. So unraveling the green tissue paper here, this is standard in every Art Snacks monthly box. And there are four items on the inside. Our first item here is the Copic Multi-Liner in brown, and it's a 0.3 weight. The next item is a Lyra Color Giant colored pencil. It's definitely giant, it's huge. Uh, it came in this blue color and also a yellow color. I don't see a color name indicator, just a number, but we'll get to that in a bit. And our last item here is a Copic Chow double-ended marker. So the special gift this month was this nylon pencil case with the Art Snacks logo on it. It's got dual zipper and dual pockets. So let's just open it up and have a look on the inside here. The zippers are actually really nice. They're really great quality. Uh, the inside is black, which is great. So, you know, when you're putting different things in there, it's not gonna look dirty over time. Um, it's actually really well constructed and a really nice addition to this box. There's also some limited edition birthday themed stickers in the box and they're illustrated by Madison Reynolds and it's nice that she's also credited on the stickers. I'm going to start my test illustration with the Copic Chow double-ended marker. I've done a few test swatches so you can see what's possible with both ends of this marker, but for the purposes of this illustration, I'm just going to be using the super brush end. Right away, one thing that's noticeable is that this marker has a bit of an odor to it, which is typical of alcohol-based markers. It's not something I'm a huge fan of, but it's something to note if that's something you're sensitive to. I'm also noticing that I'm getting quite a bit of bleed on the Strathmore mixed media paper using this particular marker. Uh, the lines aren't as crisp on the edges as I'd like them to be and um, that's a bit of a problem if you're trying to do things that are precision based. The overall coverage of this marker is pretty good and I'm liking that when I do a second layer I can do a darker green which is a nice feature. Moving on to the Copic Multi-Liner. This is actually a pen that I've owned before in black, but I haven't tried it in this brown color and I was a lot more impressed with it this time around. The other one that I had bought, I think either it had been opened previously and it was sort of drying out and I didn't feel like it lasted very long, but this was really great. The ink came out really smoothly, the tip felt sturdy. Um, I was able to make quite nice lines over top of the green marker that I'd used previously and um, it had a really nice overall feel and finish to it. Another benefit to this liner is that it's archival and waterproof so if you're using this with wet media or a watercolor uh, you're not going to get any smearing which is a really nice feature. A lot of the work I tend to do is mixed media and incorporates using wet media, so this is a definite plus for me and is definitely something I would consider investing in again in the future. Next up are the Lyra Color Giants. This name is definitely not an exaggeration as these colored pencils are definitely oversized and quite large. One of the things I really loved about this product was that I didn't have to sharpen it very much at all. I think I only sharpened it maybe once or twice for this entire drawing and that was just because I preferred to have a sharper point but it held the point really well, it definitely felt break resistant and the color was really smooth and saturated and 
It just was an overall really nice feeling colored pencil. These pencils are also primarily advertised as being for larger areas, and I can see how that would be an ideal use for them. Given that you don't have to sharpen them very much, they definitely get a lot of mileage out of them, which is a really nice feature, especially if you're working oversized. If you're new to colored pencil, I would suggest Lyra as a great affordable alternative to something like Prismacolor. They have very similar features and I would say a lot more reliable construction. Prismacolor, unfortunately, even though I'm a fan, has a bad reputation of being quite breakable and I feel that Lyra actually excels over them in this area. One thing that I didn't like about this product was that the colors didn't have a name, it was a number. I prefer to have a name, I think it's easier to remember, so that part was a little disappointing. I'm going to finish out my illustration going back to the Copic Multiliner Pen. In the Art Snacks menu card, it suggested using this pen before applying colored pencil. However, I'm using it over top of the Lyra Color Giants here and it seems to be fine. Uh, definitely you would have to be mindful of where your hand is so that it doesn't smear just because the Lyra does have quite a waxy surface. But I'm using it here with quite a bit of success and it's helping me add a little bit of additional detail into my drawing. And here's a look at the finished illustration using all the items in the March Art Snacks box. If you'd like to know more about Art Snacks, you can find them at artsnacks.co or here on YouTube. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time.